Hey guys, this is Once Upon a Reborn and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I have a little Mr. Hunter here and I have better lighting than you guys think. Um, it's a lantern that I usually have right here in this little corner of the changing table. Um, the batteries were a little bit uh, worn out so I changed them and putting it in the same corner it looked a lot, a lot, lot, lot bright and really shadowy in his face. So I um, hooked it in my wall right here. So it's more bright. And I believe it's really good for now. So I'm really excited about that. So today I'm going to be changing Hunter. And I'm going to be talking about a topic that I saw on... Kelly girl oh, something that I forgot to show you guys was this blanket was made by my mother and she did all the knitted or crochet I always get those mixed and she did this for boys and I have another one for girls I believe I showed it in my last video or not I'm not sure so yeah he's really wrapped up in here because this past couple of days I've been putting the AC really cold and I don't want him to get like so cold but I'm looking at him right now and I'm actually really hot at the moment because right now I have all the windows closed and I have all the fans closed and I'm not sure I, I think I think I'm gonna be turning on the AC because it's extremely hot so I might do that give me a second let me turn it on right there. I'll turn it off later. Because today has been really hot. It hasn't been raining. So, and I'm not going to put the fan because my AC is way, um, quieter than my fan. So please excuse his hat hair. But there he is. Temperature in the AC is 61 degrees. So here he is. And today I'm going to be un undressing him awfully quickly. And I haven't been talking about the topic that I want to talk. So today I'm going to be talking about minimalism in the Reborn community. I saw this topic, like I said, on Kelly Girl. I saw it first there. And I thought it was something really um, interesting. It's something that I've been trying to do without knowing that it was something that was going on on the Reborn community and actually on um, people's lives, like in baby nurseries, like real babies. So, because when you have a uh, hobby, like Reborns, it's something that you collect. And collect doesn't mean having one or two. It means having more than five. So I've never been an extreme collector. I've never had more than three rewards in my collection. I was thinking. But I've never had more than three rewards in my collection. I have had... Um, let me see. Arabella, Lexi... Alexandra. I'm thinking of all the reborns I've had. Penny. Robin. Claire, Eliana, and Hunter. So I have had eight reborns my entire life. One of oh and Jared. I forgot Jared. So I have had nine reborns in my entire life. Oops. <laughs> His light. So I think I've never had more than three in my collection at the same time. And, but I do have a lot of things for them. I actually, I am downsizing on accessories for my Reborns. Because my problem is not the Reborns. It's the accessories. 
like I had a lot of clothing for them I had one two three four five six seven eight nine ten I had ten drawers for my reborn clothing and all of this section of my closet um, all this okay this is my closet let me move you guys a little bit okay here is my closet this is my closet back here and all of this draw um, not drawer door behind the door there is a lot of reborn stuff okay let me get you by guys back here again with hunter so and I have over 150 pacifiers which I really don't use all of them and now I have to get rid of most of them if I don't find a way to fix them for the silicone baby because silicone babies don't have magnets in their mouth they need full passies and I have like like 10 of those with full nipple so yeah um, right now I can't even decide which passy he's gonna be wearing and that's my dorky barking so I don't know because this one has rockets which doesn't really match let me see if I can focus that there has rockets which doesn't doesn't really match with dinosaurs but it has the blue um, like trimming this one's green and yellow which actually matches a little bit and this one has a um a little froggy that you guys can see there has a frog and has a little reptile there so he might wear he might wear this one actually kind of looks cute on him either that one or this one let me see I don't like that one but more okay so now that I sold Eliana I sent a lot of clothes with her you guys like 50 pieces of clothing with her so I got rid of three drawers because with Claire I'm gonna send about another 50 pieces and with him I'm not gonna send that many because I have more girl stuff than boy stuff and I believe I'm gonna try and get a zero to three month boy in the future so and probably from the same artist because he's amazing so um, I'm not gonna send that much with him but look the other day I went to a baby outlet and I got this I didn't need this but it was so cute that I got it so that's my problem so I can I believe I can show you guys where we're standing right here oops sorry okay so this is my baby changing table this is where I store now all of the clothing because that drawer right there it's filled with boy zero to three month clothing and the bottom one is filled with boy newborn clothing which I don't use because I don't have a newborn boy so I'm gonna be selling that or donating it I don't know what I'm gonna do with it but this is my changing table it was handmade and I really love it I only have that and that over there which is my um, Moses or baby crib or bassinet that my dad made he like actually made it so please ignore all that mess I was experimenting with fake formula so here is where I put the girl stuff for the new baby she already has a lot of things this all onesies and rompers and here she has all shoes but there are also some boy shoes there so I'm gonna be getting rid of those and here she has long pants shorts bloomers and t-shirts and down here she has sleepers 
so yeah she's spoiled and she still has a couple of other things so oh and I forgot to show you guys this this is my changing station this is just the hat that I just took off Hunter diapers and wipes um, changing mat this thing and first aid kit and this baby powder I'm just getting rid of it so I think I'm gonna unbutton, unbutton Hunter's 1C and put some of it in his diaper because it smells kind of good let me see and in, on top of that basket that you saw that I put the one the not the onesies the diapers and the and the baby wipes that's where I put the camera very 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 um cautiously because a little bump and it can fall down so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna put some baby powder on him probably in the diaper not on his body oops that way he can smell like a baby there we go. I love how he moves oops I was moving the tire but sorry guys <laughs> look like an earthquake sorry <laughs> but yeah like I was saying I please bear with me I get very distracted and I get off topic really fast um like I was saying I'm trying to make my collection smaller and now I'm just gonna have a baby like you guys know it's gonna be here next year probably in a different house <laughs> I'm not sure that I'm gonna be living here next year but she's gonna be here next year and well with me next year and I'm super excited about her with him I use wet the brush and she is really sweet and really adorable and very expensive so that's why I'm just gonna keep one for the moment another reborn goal for me would be a toddler from Victoria Golda I hope I pronounced that right but she is amazing she is a Russian prototype artist and she gave me a quote for a toddler for myself and it was a great price I believe it wasn't a decent price for a toddler so I really really won I, I had a lot of trouble styling him this way <laughs> because I usually there he was missing some hair okay there we go so she's amazing like I was saying and that's a reborn goal for me to get a toddler from her and the toddler that I want is Lily by Regina Swolkowski. I don't know how you pronounce her last name, but I'm pretty sure you guys know who I'm talking about. And she's really cute. So I really want that toddler. And the other goal for me will be to have another 0 to 3 or newborn size, but a big newborn size boy. Uh, definitely reborn. I'm not gonna be spending more money in silicone. The new baby is just gonna be the only silicone that I will have in my collection. I know I say that and I probably it's not gonna be true. I'm gonna have a sip of iced tea. Here's my iced tea cup. I don't drink coffee so that's why I had it made like this. And a little stitch. So yeah. And I love purple. So I'm trying to reduce 
everything in my room and collection. Oops, I forgot your shoes. But especially the thing that I need to reduce the most is the clothing and the accessories and stuff like that. But it's so hard because sometimes I think about, oh, I love this so much. And since I don't have real kids, I think I could use this with my real baby one day. So that's why I find it really hard of on selling baby clothes or not baby toys because I really don't have that many. I am actually lying. I actually have a lot. Not a lot, but I have some baby toys. <laughs> but they're cute for props and pictures and stuff like that. So um I lost my chart my turn of thought. Okay, here. So I am trying to reduce those because I really never had more than three reworns in my collection. And actually that's my goal, to have three reworns. Silicone Girl, Newborn or Zero to Three Month Boy, which I actually have right now. But like I said in a previous video, I like this skull, but I am not 100% in love with the skull. I love how he's painted and I love how he's rooted. And I love his details, but this hand, I don't love it. I definitely don't love babies with closed hands. And this sculpt is seen so much. Like everybody out there has this sculpt. So I like to have sculpts that not a lot of people had. Like not a lot of people had Starling and not a lot of people had Tazy, which Starling was Eliana and Tazy is Claire. Not a lot of people had those sculpts, and I felt unique, and I felt, um, um, yeah, unique. So, but everybody has Landon out there. Like, a lot of people have Landon. He's really cute, but and he actually kind of looks like my, my, not my husband, my boyfriend. Just a little bit. <laughs> but, yeah. That's my goal and I am really happy that I have gotten rid of some of this stuff. My nursery, right now since I'm selling them and moving stuff around, it's a little bit messy but usually I always have it very well organized and everything and I don't think I've ever showed you guys the last, I actually have another reborn but I don't know if this counts like in a reborn, this is like an oak. Baby. So here he, here she is. I got her, I won her on a giveaway. And her name is Flora. I decided to name her Flora because she has this huge flower in her hat. And she also has a flower in her blanket. So I named her Flora and she has painted hair. The artist is not like a very well-known artist or nothing, but she's really sweet and I want her, so I really love her. She's really cute. So she's going to be the only baby with me. <laughs> but yeah, I am very happy that I'm getting to um, reduce the stuff that I have, like I said before. But I do have a lot of things that I really don't use, like... I really don't use all the bottles that I have. You guys, all, practically all the time, you guys see the same bottles in my videos. I don't use all of them and I have a lot. I have like 50 baby bottles that I barely use and I am planning on getting more. <laughs> but I am going to get rid of some of the ones that I have that have been stained or had gotten like cloudy or something like that. And... I got rid of a lot of diapers, um, I got rid of a lot of clothes, and I got rid of a lot of blankets. I actually, ooh, I didn't show you guys the blankets. I forgot the blankets. Here are the blankets. <laughs> so up here. We have girl blankets and down there we have boy blankets and that bin I have a blue one 
that it's right here that I put it in here and that's where the hats and the mittens and socks are but I'll do like a nursery tour so you guys can see all that so yeah I believe I covered most of what I wanted to say. I really don't want to make a super long video and I'm already over 20 minutes. But yeah, um, like I've said before, I'm going to be missing them. And I say like, yeah, a lot. I'm so sorry. But, and I also say but a lot. Um, and I also say um a lot. <laughs> and you guys are getting annoying. I'm so sorry. But... that's what i'm trying to do i and then i saw it on youtube i saw that people was trying to do that and i was like oh that's really nice and i already had the idea and then i saw it on youtube and i was like that's cool that other people actually think like i do in this hobby but also i think i can um a lot of people can think like i like i do when i say this is a hobby that it's very hard to be minimal because we always see something cute we always see something that we want for our babies and we always see something new and we want to have it and in order to have to reduce the stuff that we have to get enough um, to get more stuff it's like getting rid of them and for me like I said I don't want to get rid of most of the stuff that I have because I always think I can use them with my real kids so maybe if I have real kids and I keep collecting reborns um, over the years maybe I think it will be easier for me to reduce because I think okay I'm not gonna have any more kids and my kids already use this and my reborns already use this so I can pass it along or sell it or or throw it away I don't know but for now it's really hard for me but I have to do it because um, like I've said before in other videos I am planning on moving and the less stuff I bring with me the better especially since I don't know where I'm gonna be staying at first I don't know how my apartment will be I don't know with who I'm gonna be or I'm gonna be alone uh, there are a lot of factors that I have to think and analyze before I keep buying and I keep moving forward with my hobby. It's a hobby that I really don't want to quit, but it's a hobby that I thought I had to learn how to cut on some things and that's what I'm trying to do. And I'm really excited that a lot of people see it that way that the less things you have the better but I just wanted to give my opinions and my thoughts about it and I want to share this little guy um, he's almost paid up I, I know I said in a previous video that he was paid up but it's he's not he's almost paid off so he's gonna be going home probably next month and probably the girl is gonna be staying a little bit longer because the uh, person that's going to be buying her um, had some money problems and I and she's a good friend of mine actually she's one of my best friends so I was like you know what I can hold her for you I don't mind and I can wait for sure so she's going to be staying with me a little bit longer but I'm pretty sure he's going to be go, going home next month for sure so now I'm gonna have to make more videos with him but I actually have a couple probably I'll do a new one tomorrow but uh, you guys know I'm gonna be uploading every week so I can have content in my channel so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I have more topics to talk about and I have some role plays with this little guy that are just too cute and also with the little girl so I hope you guys can watch that and I'll see you guys next time bye bye